Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel if you're new here I'm so so happy to meet you and then if you're new here guys please subscribe to my channel that will means a lot to me um today I'm so excited to showcase these cute little hearts decorations part of my Christmas countdown 2020 and um, we're getting in there so we're going to do 25 projects uh, which is will lead up to Christmas. Before we crack on, I just want to say massive thank you to the new subscribers that recently joined the channel. Your love and support is so always much appreciated. And today, a big shout out goes to two lovely people that always, always take your time to leave me comments and actually really cute and sweet comments. In just a second, you will see how I made this um, cute hearts decoration using, um, oops, polystyrene hearts that you can find everywhere online charity shops anywhere um super effective these are sort of projects that you could do like even in time um and just relaxing after a really busy day because it's it's called therapeutic therapeutics because you know if you like decoupage and all of that that will take your mind off things so yeah enjoy the tutorial guys and i'll see you very soon Right guys, so first step is, as I said, I bought this um, last year in Italy. It was one pound, one, so actually one euro, sorry, for two of them. So, apologies about the noise. The plastic noise on camera gets amplified by a stupidly amount. And then what we're going to do guys, we're going to do a primer, a layer of, a coat actually of primer. So I'm using the... I bought this on Amazon, it's the Charky um, Finish Furniture Paint and that is antique white and this gives me the um, the first uniform um, white, antique white um, coat that I need. What I've done, I put it in my Nutella jar because this sort of um, opening, which is the normal paint, I'm trying, yeah, this one, as soon as I opened, I already deformed the bottom of this and i know for a fact i know myself after four uses this thing will be totally damaged it will be a nightmare to get a paint off so i already put it in here so when i need it i just take a little bit and then the rest is safe so i can open it and close it um easily and then i'm going to use what's left on the tin as um you know to, to do this project so we're going to apply um, a layer of this on both parts on both sides and we're going to leave it to dry um, for as long as it takes now on here it says it should dry between reading it between two hours one and two, two hours depending on the or the, the size of the surface that you're painting now because I've got two lights shining on those um, it hopefully will dry a bit way before. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up, I'm gonna put some music and I'll come back here once they're all nice and dry. So, the two hearts are totally dry. What we're gonna do, guys, I'm going to use, I bought this of eBay. This was a pack of six, all different type, like all different prints and stuff. Um, I'm going to cut two of those and I'm going to leave two for um, for the back. So we do two on the front and then we do two on the back. So as you can see, this napkin so it's got three plies in there. So I need two. Okay, so that's one. I'm gonna remove it slowly, yep. And then the sh yes, it's three. So, slowly. Okay, I'll just peel them off. So what I was thinking, guys, to use this cute mouse in there, just on the front. Just like that and now I, I was thinking to do the same on the on the back but I don't think it's needed because it's actually the picture is actually gonna come out so no we might just leave it plain on the back so what we're gonna do guys we're going to use our Mod Podge my favorite glue at the moment obsessed with Mod Podge and then what we want to do guys we want to cover 
the full surface of the front of the heart and the edges. So I'm going to quickly distribute the glue. Just like that. And then make sure it goes all around here. So that will help us when we attach the rest of the image on the back. Okay. So, right. Now this is a bit fiddling, so let me make sure I'm on, on a shot. Okay. I want it to be as centered as possible, so. I think that's it. Now, when you put the napkins on top of the heart, because, so if you go like a flat surface, that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but because it's curved, we need to try slowly with the tip of your brush to make sure the image adheres to the heart without creating major air bubbles. You will eventually because it's a curved surface. But if you're slow and patient, like I'm learning to be with craft, because I'm tend to be right done now. I want to get it done. Come on. <laughs> I'm very no, I'm not rushing into things. I'm just like a, what I call a speedy crafter. This is me. Um so I'm, I don't have much patience in general for things <laughs> craft related and normal life related, put it that way. So, oops, I'm not even sure you what I'm doing because I'm chatting. So you see what I'm doing, just literally with the brush, very delicately. Press it, press it, press it. And now the problem will start when you reach the edge of the heart. So we might want to do a cut here. Don't worry about this bit here because we're going to put some paint on top of it. Okay, so slowly tear it off. Just like that. So when you've got the white bit, yeah. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to put some more Mod Podge on top of the heart, just like that, because the glue will help us to curve the image. Oops. So what we're going to do with the glue that is in there, press it down and kind of fold it. You see what I'm doing? Fold it. Press and fold it, press and fold it, and then the excess, you just peel it off. I'll stick to my finger now. Okay. So wet the tissue, wet the napkin. Yeah, I was planning to do the uh, same image on the back, but I don't think I'll be able to because um, we might just want to do a white, we might just want to do a plain. Okay, let me move the rubbish in there. Okay, see what I'm doing guys. So, and then you just carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. And then what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to do it off camera because I'm conscious it's a very small, um, long process, detailed job. I'm going to do both of the hearts and I come back when they're all nice and done. I'll see you in a very second. Okay, so the napkins are totally dry on both of them. So what we're going to do guys, I'm going to paint the back of the hearts in red. When we're gonna come back, we're gonna leave one as it is with just this technique. And on here, we're going to add some cracks. And um, I've done a video not long ago and I will put the link in here so you guys can go and check how to uh, create things with cracks and make them look more like vintage. So this one has got 
the uh, Mod Podge. This one has got the um, cracks effect. So I have used, you saw me using this before, the um, base coat and a top coat uh, crack, crack lure, I want to say. Um, bought this for Amazon. It's a two, um, it's a two stages uh, cracked vanish effect. So you do your, um, your base coat first. Once it dries, so you apply your top coat and the result that you get this crackling effect. Now, as you can see here, you I can vis I can see on flash that you got the cracks in here. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up. But what we're going to do, guys, now we're going to emphasize the the cracks. I am using my uh, powdered charcoal. I use this when I make my um, own cosmetics at home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a small amount into. Um, I'm going to put it in on my mat just in there and then we're going to use the charcoal as a black powder to emphasize the um all the cracks you don't have to use a black so you can emphasize your crack your cracks in any color that you like you can do in gold you can do in any colors depends on your project i do like black because it gets a really um quite dramatic effect so as you can see from brushes so just not like this just dry simply dry black powder and in this way you will now see all the cracks that the vanish have made don't worry if you feel that the image is getting a bit too dark because we will brush it off with uh, a cloth in just a minute I like this technique because it makes everything look really antique um, vintage shabby um, and I really like this technique and I will definitely do more project not necessarily just for Christmas because you can use this sort of technique on your everyday I can think of um, a dinner set I like some really gorgeous plates with this technique or like vases photo frames a hanging decoration, wall decoration, clocks. Again, it's just a vanish, so you can use it in any sort of projects that you might want to do. Just got this little bit left. And as I said, um, as long as it's powder, you can um, use any colors that you like. The reason why I wouldn't recommend um, an acrylic paint, for instance, is because if you do put the if something that's wet yes it goes inside the cracks because that's the main point of this de this step we need to go into the cracks see we need to get the brush make sure we cover every single crack the problem is the paint you might not be able to brush it off if it dries too quick the powder because again it's dry it goes into the cracks and in just a second i will show you how to get rid of the excess that we don't want. I think I'm happy with the result, just a tiny bit here. And maybe semi points. Yeah. Okay, so look how dark it is now. So we're gonna get a cloth and I'm gonna go all, all over it. And I'm gonna basically dust off all the excess powder. And that's the result. How pretty is this? Now, you guys need to let me know in the comment if you prefer this one or this one. Very different styles. Right, so. On here, the one with the cracks, I just put layers of um, Mod Podge just to seal everything off completely. And then when it dries, it will dry uh, gloss. So we've got a really nice glossy finish. I'm gonna lift it into one side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a layers of Mod Podge just on the edges here on of the art. It's when the white and red um, meet each other sorry I, I wasn't on 
was in a shot. So really nice thin layer. You just need to make sure you cover the full surface of the heart. Sorry, just conscious I'm not in shot, but it just literally all around the perimeter. Okay, and then let me just close the, that's it. Then we're going to get a string of red ribbon. This is not like shiny red, it's more like a dark red. Um, I wouldn't say burgundy because it's not burgundy, but it's a quite a deep dark red. So I'm going to start from the middle there. And uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to press it down and make sure it stays there. Now that the ribbon is in place, we're going to attach a, another layer of Mod Podge. Again, just in the middle of the ribbon here, because we're going to attach another piece of gold. Um, it's not a ribbon, it's like a metal chain, and I'll just show you in just a second. But before we do that, just need to put some more Mod Podge in there. Make sure the layer is quite generous because we need that to stick to the ribbon firmly and then i'll show you in just a moment but when you get into the joint um joint part we need to leave some space and i'll show you in just a second why okay almost done okay so we're going to use this one. Um, it's a ribbon I bought of eBay. It's shiny gold. I think it's gorgeous. What I've done, I cut it into two and I've got this sort of string. Please, please be focused. Yes. So what I thought is to put this in, in the middle. So between the black, sorry, red ribbon in there. The glue is totally dry, as you can see, the will move. I like, absolutely like the Mod Podge in there. And what I've done with the glue gun, I have attached first a loop in there, and then on top, I made these two little balls and I attached them to um, the top on there. So you kind of like, I know you can see it, but you won't see it when you hung, because they will hang on the tree, just like that. So you won't be able to see them. And what I've used is simply got a little trim of a red ribbon. And then what you do, just simply do a knot, just like that. And then I've used my hot glue gun. And what I've done, unfortunately, silly me, and it's still quite hot actually. Um, I put on, um, I've got a little, um, cloth underneath and then I backed it on <laughs> so that is actually drop into the glue so um never mind never mind it will dry anyway so that's not the end of the world um so yeah I think they look rather cute what do you guys think which one is your favorite let me know in the comment who prefer a more like a plain simple version on my left or the one with the cracks on your right um unfortunately i didn't have any black ribbon but i wanted to do to make it really dramatic and have a black ribbon with a gold trimming and then just a black black ribbon in there and i think that will have looked more not gothic but a bit more dark a bit more yeah a bit more vintage unique i would i would have thought so um and on the back they're just plain red as you can see here the, the glue will dry soon um so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with them. I hope you like them too. Um, if you did, 
don't forget to give me the usual thumbs up as usual guys your support will mean a lot to me if you're not already please subscribe to the channel and any chit chat any video request i'm on instagram and i will put the link on the screen now thank you so much for watching guys have a lovely day and i will see you very soon bye